Il giorno in cui i talebani sono arrivati a Kabul, uh, purtroppo... We were at work when we heard the Taliban had taken Kabul, unfortunately. Eravamo al, uh, al lavoro, usciti dal lavoro... Uh, uh, When we finished work, we saw how the Taliban were acting on the street, and we knew immediately that there was an immediate risk to our lives and the lives of our families. So we stayed in Kabul for 72 hours, and these were very difficult 72 hours. It was a nightmare for myself and for my family. The next morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, an armed group, the first armed group, arrived behind my house asking for me. They were searching for me. They had photographs in their hands and they were showing them to my neighbors. Because I was a policeman and I worked at the interior ministry. The next day they came back. They came again to search the house, to take my car, and were asking questions. Where was I? Where was I staying? That night I slept in the middle of the street. I risked being killed. I risked my son and my wife being killed. We were in front of the airport door and just before they opened the door there were more than 800-900 people wanting to get in. I was holding my son, who had just turned two, but I was also holding my wife's hand. Because of the people pushing, my wife fell down and I protected her from being trampled by other people. I managed to move somehow. I didn't die, and I stayed there the whole evening. There were a lot of people. There were tanks and Kalashnikov rifles and machine guns on top of them, continuously firing at eye level. I had my son in my arms who was crying and scared. He had no voice and was just crying. My wife was scared and she was about to faint. I didn't even have a bottle of water. I was looking around, then the Italians called us and said, show yourself, show yourself. And so I showed my passport and somehow I got here. If I had waited another two minutes, my son and my wife would not have made it.